Welcome back, my terrific kindergartners. It's Ms. Johnson here, and we are in Domain 4, Lesson 6, all about plants. Today's lesson, the fruits of Polly's labor. The purpose for listening. The title of today's read aloud is The Fruits of Polly's Labor. I want you to listen carefully to find out more about the fruits of Polly's labor and this delicious plant part. Some key vocabulary words that you're gonna hear in today's story include blossoms. Blossoms are the flowers on a plant or a tree. Core, the center or middle part of something. Fruit, the part of the plant that contains the seed. Produce, to make. And scrumptious, something that tastes very good. Buzz, buzz. It's Polly the honeybee again. Last time I told you that I visit flowers to collect nectar and pollen for food. I also told you that I help to pollinate flowers by carrying pollen from one flower to another. Today, I want to show you some of the results of my hard work. You see, after I pollinate a flower, the plant begins to produce seeds. To produce something means to make. Lots of plants also produce a special part to hold the seeds called the fruit. Come along and I will show you some different kinds of fruit that I help to create. Here's an apple tree. Earlier this year, this tree put out blossoms, which is another word for flowers. Apple blossoms are full of delicious nectar, which makes me especially love to buzz over and roll around in those blossoms. The nectar was scrumptious. Scrumptious is another word for delicious. But look, it was good for the tree too. Remember that when bees visit flowers of plants, they carry the pollen from one flower to another. This apple tree is full of apples now because of my honeybee friends. And I did such a good job pollinating those blossoms. The apples are fruit and inside the apples are seeds that can grow into new apple trees. The apples took weeks to grow. They were small at first, but then they got bigger and bigger. Now they are almost ripe. When the apples are ripe, they will drop off the tree so the seeds can fall to the ground and start growing into new apple trees. Or a person may come and pick the apple to eat it. Here is an image of an apple that has been picked off the tree and sliced open. You can see the seeds. The seeds are the dark brown things in the center part, called the core. Some people like to cut the seeds out of the apple before they eat it. I know I do. Some people also cut off the peel on the outside of the apple. Here's another tree I pollinated. It's called a cherry tree. Some time ago, this tree produced lovely pink blossoms or flowers. Let me tell you that there's almost nothing more beautiful than a cherry tree in full bloom. My bee buddies and I spent a lot of time visiting this tree when the blossoms were out. And look what happened since then. The flowers are all gone now, but that's okay because they did what they were supposed to do. Now the tree has begun to make seeds and fruit. Have you ever bitten into a fresh cherry? If you have, your teeth have probably bumped into that cherry seed. Inside the cherry is a big, hard thing called the cherry pit. Now here, the word pit means the hard part in the middle of some fruits that contain seeds. The word pit can also have other meanings. The word pit can also mean hole. The seed of the cherry is actually inside the cherry pit. The tasty part of the cherry that people eat is the soft fruit around the pit. 
to people, that seems like the most important part of the cherry. But to the plant, the most important part is the seed that can grow into the new plant. Now here's a different kind of plant. This is a strawberry plant. It put out flowers a while ago, and my honey-making pals and I visited those flowers as well. Now you can see that the plant is making seeds and fruit. We must have pollinated it. The fruits on this plant are also called strawberries. My favorite fruit. You saw how the seeds of the apple and the cherry tree grow inside the fruit. With the strawberry, it's the other way around. The other way around means the opposite. Look at this ripe strawberry. You can see the seeds all over the outside of the strawberry. The seeds on this strawberry are so small that people can eat them along while eating the fruit. Here's one last plant. It's a watermelon plant. This watermelon plant bloomed a few weeks ago. I visited its flowers and found the nectar to be quite delicious. I brought some back to my hive where the worker bees made it into honey. But look, the watermelon plant has been busy making something too. This big green thing is the fruit of the watermelon plant. It's called a watermelon. The green part on the outside of the watermelon is called the rind. The seeds of the watermelon are on the inside of the rind, along with some juicy red fruit that people like to eat. Here's a watermelon that has been sliced open. Can you see the black and white seeds on the inside? People spit out the seeds when they are eating the red squishy part of the watermelon. Well, that about concludes my little tour. I am very proud of the pollinating work that I have done this year. And I hope that you will think of me as you are munching on the fruits of my labor. Delicious fruit is truly the result of Polly's hard work carrying pollen from one flower to another. Now let's jump into some comprehension questions. What do we call the special part of the plant that holds seeds? The fruit is the special part of the plant that holds the seeds. You got it. What is another word for blossom? Did I hear somebody say flower? If you said flower, you are correct. Can you name some of the fruits that Polly mentioned on her tour today? What was Miss Johnson's favorite? You got it, strawberries. What were some other fruits that Polly mentioned? Cherries, watermelons. I think I heard somebody say apples. You got it, boys and girls, great listening. Let's jump into some word work. In the read aloud you heard, lots of plants also produce a special part to hold the seeds called fruit. Say that word fruit with me, fruit. Fruit is the part of the plant that holds the seeds. My favorite fruit is strawberries because they are delicious and I love to pick fresh strawberries. Now I want you to tell me what your favorite fruit is. Tell me in a complete sentence. My favorite fruit is, now I want you to tell me why. Wow, those were some great answers. What word have we been working on today? Fruit. We are going to play a game. I am going to name some foods. If I name a fruit, I want you to say, that is a fruit. If I name something that's not a fruit, I want you to say, that's not a fruit. Remember to answer in a complete sentence. Here we go. A banana. You got it, a banana is a fruit. Pizza. That's right, pizza is not a fruit. How about a lemon? A lemon is a fruit. A grape? A grape is also a fruit. How about a hot dog? A hot dog is not a fruit. 
Well, boys and girls, I had such a great time teaching you all about plants and talking to you about Polly and her tours. Until the next time we speak, see you real soon. Bye.